So when I'm talking about, I think the baby boomer generation really is responsible for this new way of looking at the world. There's a news report that I'm going to link in this. It's, it's um, one secret military document sheds light on why black soldiers in World War II were denied um, honors. And um, I'm going to link that. And it talks about a lot of the things that I'm telling you, that the greatest generation consisted of black people also. And for us to say we don't, we're don't, we rejecting the greatest generation because that's something that the Republicans are using is to reject the work that was done by so many black military uh, service people, uh, civil rights leaders, human rights leaders. So I think what it is, I don't think it's Democrats who rejected. I think it's people who don't want to see Democrats as people who care about this country, who spin the the spin it in a way that Democrats aren't for the military. We are. We're not for a, a military machine that keeps going to war over and over and over again. And that's what I'm saying. It's something about the way people want to look at the the as as Democrats that to me makes us seem like we don't care about this country. And I think that is why Republicans are successful because they've managed to lie about the fact that Democrats love this country. We fought in wars. We've honored the military. We've honored the sacrifices of soldiers. And what's so good about, I told you the very first president I ever voted for was President Bill Clinton. He honored the last living black soldier who was denied the highest honor. And that's what I'm saying. There's something in us that we don't want to accept Republicans as being capable of looking at the world the same way we do. Yet on the flip side, Republicans don't want to accept the world as Democrats being capable of looking at the world the same way they do. So it's not that one side loves America more. It isn't. It's that something changed in the way we as a country saw ourselves. It's possible to agree that there is a great generation. And I think the the generation, like I said, born from like the 1900s to about 1930s, they were the greatest generation. They lived through a lot. They had to sacrifice. They had to go to wars. Yet we don't want to be a country where one side is seen as not loving this country. We all love this country. The other thing I wanted to talk about is, um, as a Democrat, 